Okay, so we're going to ignore my brows. I am not too happy with this one today. I don't know. My palette of choice today is going to be the P. Louise Worldly Palette, and she looks like this. So um, I'm actually going to start by taking this deep dark blue called San Francisco. So I'm going to take this shade, and I'm going to start packing it down. And this brush is really nice because I can just go straight into little circle motions and it's going to pack and blend at the same time. I'm going to try to keep this pretty dark blue. And I am going to use a lighter blue as well, you know, to give it a really nice blend. But this, these are Bronco colors right here. So I am going to take this all across my crease as well. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. Next, I'm going to take this blue shade right here, which is called Sky High, which this is actually my son's favorite color. Back when he was really into swatching on my palettes, uh, this was his go-to palette and his go-to shade because he loves blue. So I'm going to take this on a little fluffy Morphe brush and I'm just going to go straight into little circle motions and start buffing the edge of this color out. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take the shade Year Up. I don't want to take this too light. Like I'm not going to take the pastel blue in here because I don't want to go too light with this. Um, but I'm going to go very light handed with this shade right here. I'm just going to very softly go over these edges. And this is a Beauty by Bianca X Doe color. Honestly, that took like minimal blending. I think that it looks really good. So now I'm going to take my P. Louise Cut Carver and I'm going to go ahead and cut on my crease. And then um, I'm just going to lay down. Let's see. And then I'll just lay down the P. Louise blank canvas after I cut my crease. Okay, so now that the crease is nice and cut, I'll take the same brush with uh, the dark blue brush with no additional product on it, just to kind of blend these edges a little bit. So now I'm going to take this really pretty burnt orange, which is called Sunset, and I'm just going to take it on this little packing brush, and I'll just start tapping this down. Then I'll just dust off that exact same brush and then I'll take the shade Lounge and this I'm going to pack all over the lid. kind of a yellowy orange so I think I might pack more I'm gonna take more of the shade sunset over this because I want it to be orange not yellow I'm gonna take the P. Louise basic bright in the shade touch of frost And then I'm going to take this flat brush and I'll take the shade San Francisco. And I'll just pack it down. So now I'm going to take this blue shimmer, which is called, what is this called? J'adore Paris. So it's just a shiny blue. I'm going to put that right in the center corner. I'm going to take my Suva Beauty Space Panda Hydroliner and I'm going to take this 
So I'm going to take that white and I'm going to do a line right here. And then I'm also going to do a white across the blue right there. Okay, so first things first, I always prime before I even do my eyes. That way it has time to kind of soak into my face. So today I use the I use the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. I'm almost done with it, so I've been really used trying to like use this up. So the first thing that I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Peach. This is the color corrector. Um, I actually have been really loving the way my under eyes look when I color correct because I was noticing just that my dark circles were shining through. Okay, so um, I wanted to talk to you guys kind of about like my current like favorite, my go-to. I don't have the biggest experience with a lot of high-end foundations, but from the foundations and products that I've used, I wanted to give you guys kind of like my recommendations. So I do have to say for drugstore like foundation so this is technically a cc cream the elf camo cc cream this is so good it doesn't like crease really harshly it sits so beautifully on the skin and i'm almost out of it so i really only wear this um when i'm like going places that's why i haven't really been using it on my channel um it's definitely like really inexpensive and it's a very good like drugstore option so now for high-end foundations, I do have the ABH foundation. This is the Luminous foundation. And then I have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. So these are the, really the only two high-end foundations that I've ever tried. Um, I really like both of these options a lot. I, the Luminous one for when I want dewy. And then the NARS Matte. This is the first NARS product that I, I've ever tried for like, like foundation, you know. And I really like this. So this one, I actually sent a video of my sis to my sister after like I used it and I thought it looked so, so good and then she purchased it and then she used it and she said that in person her skin looked so good, so good. So I highly recommend this if you like matte and I highly recommend the ABH foundation if you like luminous. I'm actually going to be taking the um, ABH luminous one today because I haven't used this in a while. And I really do like it. And this shade, I got 100N. This is actually a really good match for me. I would say. The lady at Ulta said this was not going to be a match for me. But I disagree strongly. Honestly, it's just so beautiful. I love it. Like, honestly, I need to get, like, the green um, color corrector to kind of try to cover my zits a little bit better. But other than that zit, I think my skin looks so, so good. I've been using this Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this one's in the shade Golden. Um, I don't really like this color too much, so I've really been trying to use it up. That's why I've really only been using this for, like, cream contour. Okay, so um, the next step that I actually like to do before I do my concealer is actually cream blush. Um, now, I do really like, if you like really pigmented blushes, I would say the Made by Mitchell blushes are really nice. Um, they're really, really good quality, and they're super, super pigmented. You could also use them as eyeshadows, lip products, whatever you want. Um, I already said eyeshadow, didn't I? <laughs> Also, another favorite is the Jaclyn Cosmetics, the Cream to Powder Blush Stick. These are so good. Probably, if I had to get rid of all the blushes in my collection and only keep, like, one brand, it would be Jaclyn Cosmetics because these are so creamy and they're so buildable and they're so pigmented and they're just so pretty. Also, a really good option that's really inexpensive is the NYX um, Sweet Cheeks. These are really nice. Now, I'm not going in with any of those shades i'm actually going to be taking the p louise basic bright in the shade pretentious peach just look at that color the p louise bases as blushes game changer let me tell you game changer 
I also want to get, I think it's called Cute and Coral. I really want to get that because I think that would make a really pretty blush. So I just take some on the back of my hand and then I'll put it right where my like blush goes. And I just take a brush and pat it in. So first things first, I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fairest. And I like to use this for my nose contour. So as far as drugstore concealer goes, I think the e.l.f. Camo Concealers take the cake. I like the, um, the original and I also really like the hydrating. So if you're looking for really inexpensive, good, like the, the original Camo Concealer is so full coverage. So full coverage. You do not need a lot of this or else it will, it could cake, you could cake that bitch on, but this is so full coverage. Um, this one's a little bit more, like it says hydrating. Um, so these are both really good options. Now my two go-to concealers at the moment is the H and B soft focus airbrush concealer. This on its own is fucking amazing. Now the shade is like exactly my skin tone. So I do like to brighten it up. So I've actually been taking the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Perfecting Concealer in the shade Ferris Neutral because this is so bright. These together, absolute game changer. These on their own. The the HB one's better than the Jaclyn one, but I still do really enjoy the Jaclyn one. I know that's not a very um it's not a very popular opinion, but that's my opinion. Now to set my face, I think powders are a little bit harder for me because I feel like a lot of powders, I mean, you know, they're, they're powders, so I'm, I'm really at a toss up. I'm still kind of figuring out what I like. I do have to say that I do really like this H&B Cosmetics, the Soft Focus Loose Setting Powder. This is really, really good. I did want to try out again because I haven't really used that often, the Dragon Beauty, um, this is the Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Pink. Um, so I'm going to use this one today, um, cause like I said, I want to get more use out of it, but as far as like drugstore options go for setting powder, I really like the Cody Airspun setting powder. And then I guess H&B is a little bit more high end. So I would say for high end, it would definitely be the H&B cosmetics. So, but today we're going to use the Dragon Beauty. I'm going to take the NYX Sweet Cheeks in the shade Daydream for my blush. I always like to double up on my blush because you guys know me. I like a shit ton of blush. Okay, so I'm going to actually set my face first. So because I'm going more dewy today, I'm going to take the ABH Dewy Set. My highlighter of choice today is going to be the Kama Cosmetics Diamond Glow in the shade number two. I'm not really sure which one that this is, like the name of it, because it's it just says number two. It doesn't have like a name on it. Um, but these are so freaking cute. I thought they were going to be glittery at first, which I mean they can be, but they look just wet. Okay, so here's the completed look. Um, my lip combo is the LA Girl Perfection Lip Liner in the shade Sugar and Spice, and then the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. Um, I'm at a loss of words, you guys. I'm at a loss of words, and here's why. <laughs> peep the peep the coffin in the background. I got so okay. Sword time. I recently just purchased the uh, Fenty Beauty, the like overnight hand mask, because my hands are crusty and dusty and dry as fuck from like always washing dishes, you know. So um, I had a notification that it came it got delivered so i went out and i checked my mail i had a package from unearthly cosmetics which they were formerly known as alien cosmetics we're gonna ignore my kids screaming remember um they sent me every single one of their liquid lipsticks that's what this is on my hand um i because i had just swatched them and they also sent me another low light palette and then they sent me the sydney nicole hauntingly glamorous palette and then they sent me a pair of lashes um oh, man i 
I'm so grateful because companies have actually been reaching out to send me products and you guys know that when I get some products that means that I could like put it on my channel and I'm like try new things and use new things so I'm just I'm so grateful that is going to complete today's tutorial I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content and without further ado we're gonna go right on ahead roll the clip <laughs>